human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. The right to adequate food is realized when every man, woman, and child, alone or in a community with others, has physical and economic access at all times to adequate food or means for its procurement. The right to food is a fundamental human right. It is enshrined in a range of international legal instruments, including the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was adopted by the UN General Assembly in 1948. It is more specifically spelled out in the International Covenant of Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, which Canada signed in 1976, and it is included in various other human rights instruments. Canada has a legal obligation to respect, protect and fulfill the right to food. The right to food requires the possibility either to feed oneself directly from productive land or natural resources, or to purchase food, and includes several key elements including availability, accessibility, and adequacy. The price of healthy foods like meat, veggies, and fruit are expected to rise by about 4% in Canada. The few extra cents may not seem like much of at the register, but for the average family it adds up to at least $330 more dollars spent on food each year. If finding the funds to cover this extra cost seems difficult for families in the city, imagine the task for those living in northern Manitoba, where food prices are already three to five times higher than in Winnipeg. Colleen Cook, a single mom who doesn't have the resources to hunt, like some other families, relies on the local store for food. Colleen says she would like to eat healthy if she could afford it. Good foods like fruits and vegetables and milk are costly, limiting her ability to feed her family healthy foods. Even one of her kids' favorite go-to snacks, Cheese Whiz, rings in about $20 a jar. The World Food Summit says that food security exists when all people, at all times, have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. Therefore, when these markers aren't met, it is declared as a state of food insecurity. It should go without saying that everyone in Canada has the right to food. However, despite Canada's wealth and many resources, food insecurity and hunger are major problems. One in eight Canadian households struggle to put food on the table, and Manitobans access food banks more than any other province or territory. Estimates vary, but in upwards of 62% of children living in the north are food insecure, the bulk of which are on reserves. In 2012, the United Nations representative Olivier de Schuter evaluated Canada's food insecurity and hunger. As one of the wealthiest nations in the world, it would be expected that the levels of hunger and food insecurity to be low. However, the shooter's reports concluded that Canada's level of food insecurity as unacceptable and he is disconcerted by the deep and severe food insecurity facing Inuit and Aboriginal people in Canada. Although the impact of this report should have been enough to initiate nationwide change, many families still rely on emergency food banks and suffer from food insecurity. In one of the richest countries in the world, Canada is clearly in violation of its international human rights obligations. Thankfully, a national food policy is on the horizon. In his mandate letter to the Honourable Lawrence Macaulay, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau instructed the Agriculture Minister to develop a food policy that promotes healthy living and safe food by putting more healthy, high-quality Canadian sourced food on the tables of families across the country. A national food policy should strengthen the existing patchwork of provincial, territorial and municipal food policies and strategies while respecting the diversity of local experiences, needs and aspirations. The federal government has a lot of work to do before its deadline of this year and it's all of us across Canada to hold them to task. Food security is a prerequisite to the fulfillment of the right to food, which is an essential component for enjoyment of all other human rights. Despite having ratified several international human rights instruments encompassing the right to food, Canada has failed to uphold its human rights commitments for a significant proportion of the population. A need arises for a strong national legislation of this right, which does not currently exist. Constitutional recognition of the right to food can greatly strengthen its implementation. Nothing less than this monumental shift will do justice to the importance of the right to food for all Canadians. Doing so is an investment facilitating a return of a healthier and more productive society. Created using Powtoon.